All right. Um, so today, uh, coming back to uh, my class of English today. Um, so today, I'm going to talk about the speaking tags. So in IELTS speaking, especially for a tag two. So um, so basically, uh, it is uh, it's about cue cards. So we have to explain at least two or three minutes in particular topic or the topic that has been given to us, and then we have to prepare at least for one minute. Um, I would say that this tag is very challenging and it is very difficult for some student uh, who did not prepare because um, the evaluation for speaking skills that you have to be fluent in order to get a higher score in IO band, especially for speaking. And speaking can be considered as productive skill, which is really important in terms of um, educational or presentation or communication. So we have to work on it. If you are really not sure that you are able to to be fluent or make yourself to be, um, you know, like a uh, fluent in terms of speaking. Yeah. So the topic to, that the topic that I want to raise today is about um, a celebration of an achievement. Okay, so basically I will give a simple uh, technique for you to uh, understand about, about how to uh, respond to speaking talk first. The first thing is that if we, uh, we understand um, what, when, where, why, how, or who, it would be uh, maybe a simple way to explain or make a clarification later, right? So basically, when it comes to talk about celebration of an achievement, so we can see like lots of achievement can be praised, can be respect, or can be gained some value of that. So in this case, I would say that uh, if you want to improve your speaking to be better, you have to prepare it. Okay, so today I'm going to talk and raise some example for two examples today that um, related to the speaking type for a celebration of an achievement. So first of all, we have to acknowledge that what, what it is, okay? So actually, we have to focus on the uh, achievement and celebration. So how do you involve with this information, celebration that can fit an achievement, okay? And number two is when, when, it, when, when did it take place or when did it happen? So actually you can say like, uh, uh, you can say like, okay, it happened or it occurred last time, last month or last year. So here be reminded that you have to express the way that you talk in a past form. So, um, verb ten is very crucial and very important to you to to make sure that you are accurate in terms of speaking, right? And then next, go to where or the place that you had a celebration. I would say that you can imagine. You can make it. It doesn't mean that you have to tell something the truth, but it's depend. So sometimes you can sell at university, at your workplace, at a restaurant, at a hotel, whatever it can be, right? So the place and the location is very important to make your speaking to be more interesting, right? And the last thing I would like you to uh, prepare for the reason why and what happened will be after that. So in this case, we have to respond for the question of why. Why did you celebrate for this achievement? Achievement, sorry. And then how? How is going on with your achievement? Is there any uh, reflection or motivation to others? Things like that. So, okay. Um, so. Today, I'm going to uh, give you some example that I prepared for you uh, for two examples. The first one is the example of celebration of your achievement uh, when you were at university. So basically, when we graduate, we need to, uh, to celebrate for an achievement because sometimes uh, graduate for a bachelor degree, a master degree, or what else can be. So it, it need to have like a, a celebration in order to make sure that your achievement is, is really obvious or everyone accept for your achievement as well. So here, let's say like uh, if I have I have to respond for this uh, question, I would say like I got a celebration when uh, for for my achievement when I was finished my class of two thousand sixteen. Uh, I study for an, a master degree in our English language teaching. Uh, at that time, I was celebrate 
uh, at my university and I let uh, some of my friends or close friends of my family members to celebrate in that time. We went there to celebrate in the hotel in the rooftop in the center of Bangkok. And then uh, I felt that it was very great for me to uh, see my achievement and